you should be grateful for your mom. Happy Mother's Day, everyone, especially you moms. Good job on your work. And if you, and even if you're not a mom, if you're female, then you will be one. So take good care of your children. Mothers are probably the most important thing a person could have. Without a mother, well, you wouldn't exactly be a thing then. Because you'd rely on your mother to, you know, bestow upon you life. Or at the very least, bring light to you. Or at the very least, generate your body and feed you and do every single thing for you until you're old enough to do it. And also, mothers bestow upon children who are not who are more than one year old creativity and all those other things that all kids need. Because if you know anything about kids, they really like imagination and creativity, which I happen to have a lot, mainly because of my mom. Thank you. Thank you to the person who's holding the camera for me. Besides you guys, because you're also holding the camera too, because you're looking at me, I'm talking to you. Now, what exactly is good about mothers? Well, I kind of just went over it all, actually. But there are many other things about moms that are important. But there's also something deadly about that. I'll get into that later. Moms can do anything for kids. They can inspire kids. They can teach kids. They can help kids grow up so that they can teach their kids and do whatever the mom did, whatever the mom did to them. That is good. For, that is what I think as a good thing. Or is it? As it just so happens, some moms use this in a very not so good way. Some moms smoke in front of their kids and give them alcohol, which I explain in another video which which will be linked to the end of the video watch till the end do not skip because this is important so moms can give kids a good opportunity to start out in life but they can also give kids a bad opportunity to start out in life but we all know our parents would not like in an argument they wouldn't just kick you out the window and leave you outside to rot and die of starvation and thirstiness she's never gonna do that okay but some actually do but i, I don't want to get into that because that is for my existential crisis series which is which started ever since i started this youtube channel you can go check that out there's no playlist but it'll bestow upon you existential crisis if you can't tell i am talking about bestow a lot today now moms can do that and many other things like feed you and teach you how to feed yourself they teach you how to cook so that you know how to cook for yourself and your kids they teach you how to you know make sure your brain doesn't go bop because sometimes my brain goes malfunctioning but it isn't because of my mom it's because of the description of my third kids are not stupid episode yeah yeah Sometimes I do have mental breakdowns, but it's not because of my mom. So we should all be grateful for our mom. That's it, right? No, we don't need to just be grateful. We need to be intercontinentally, ballistically grateful for our mothers and fathers. But it's not Father's Day right now. Just imagine, you need to thank your mom the best. Like buying your mom a ticket on a plane and you can drive the plane for your mom and have her experience the way of the atmosphere like i'm pretty sure that's what happened to that thing that so rudely interrupted my video and not only that you also have to do things like give her gifts give her a kiss facetime her unlike someone else i know i'm not gonna call names though <clears throat> It's a private situation. Don't you dare open my mom's Gmail or else you'll find out. So, yes, you should be very, very grateful for your parents, specifically your mother, because your mother is what I would call the most important one.
So go open up your phone and FaceTime your mom. Tell her that you love him, that you love her, and that you are not going to die anytime soon.